Hey everybody, Brewmaster Bruns here. Uh, today I want to talk about Amazon's new reviewing policy. Uh, so apparently, uh, earlier this morning actually, um, Amazon made some changes to their uh, community guidelines. Uh, basically what they're doing is they're removing uh, all reviews that say they're honest and unbiased. Um, so. Um, the only way you can really get products for free to review now uh, is essentially through the Vine program. And as most reviewers know, the Vine program is Amazon's, like, Area 51 project. Like, you don't have to be a high-ranked reviewer to get in. Uh, you can be a high-ranked reviewer and not get in. You can be a low-ranked reviewer and still get in. No one really understands how you get into the program. Um, but that's the only way you can do it now. Um, there's a fairly um, high number of reasons as to why they made the change. Uh, there were a lot of people who were doing these reviews. Uh, there was a guy who, who did like some analysis. He found that there's like a, a 0.38 higher star rating on products um, if it has a majority of reviews that uh, are incentivized. So basically, you know, 0.4 stars higher um, like per review from and from a reviewer as opposed to someone who bought a product um, but I really think this comes with its own real issues um, because product reviewers are kind of the people who took the the risk off of regular customers um, if you think of like uh, electric skateboards and stuff like the boosted board um, originally on Amazon you would have one or two people buy it because who's gonna spend a thousand dollars on a skateboard with the battery on it? Like that that's not something people are gonna say, Hey, wow, you know, let me let me try that. That's gonna be for like an enthusiast or a rich person and they're not gonna sit down and take the time to review it. But if you have a company say, Hey, we're gonna send out, you know, uh, ten to twenty of these, send them out to people, they make YouTube videos, they make videos that they show on the product page. Uh, then all of a sudden you have people see these things I'm like wow okay that's that's a fairly cool product so I really think that uh Amazon's kind of shooting himself in the foot uh, but that's not really the only reason um, I definitely think that this really won't change much in the end either because though Amazon says that they're banning the reviews they're really only banning reviews that say they're from uh, unbiased and honest opinion reviewers so there's nothing preventing a seller from just shipping a product to your mailbox because Amazon won't be able to tell that you got it at a discount. So basically you can just say you bought it somewhere else and reviewed it on Amazon. And uh, the disclaimer was never a part of Amazon. That was a part of the FTC, but the FTC doesn't know that you do anything on Amazon either. So there's no real, that there's nothing really keeping you away from using a disclaimer. Um, I've already seen Facebook groups and websites sort of saying, hey, you know, you can get products from us now, but you're just not required to leave a review. Okay, you're not required to leave a review, but if you're someone like me who has a YouTube channel, you can put the review up on your YouTube channel, and in some cases this benefits people like me because I have my website and I have my YouTube channel. Uh, I was not allowed to monetize my videos or anything before, but if I can no longer say I got products for free, uh, I can now actually monetize videos and get paid for the reviews I do. So I don't really think that's uh, where Amazon wanted to go with this. Uh, I also believe that you're not going to have anything change because um, Amazon makes money, they still get their fees, because a lot of these sellers uh, they give the product to Amazon, they store it in the Amazon warehouses, you buy the product for free through them because they give you a promo code, they still pay Amazon a 3 to $5 fee just because they ship the product. So in some ways, I know, I know reviewing is like a very small portion of Amazon, but they just threw out free money, essentially. Um, if, if everyone is just getting direct shipped items now, Amazon just kind of took any money that they'd get from their uh, reviewing people and just said, hey, you can have this back if you ship the item yourself. So now 
I think uh, the sellers are going to be a little happy about that one. Um, overall, you know, it, it's, it's a change, but I really don't think that this is going to have the effect that Amazon wants. You know, they had the whole deal with Fiverr already where people are just writing reviews for products they've never seen before for $5. Um, they've changed their community reviews so many times that they don't ever say what they mean. Um, they've always had these rules and they've never really stated what the hard limits are. And when you don't state what hard limits are, you have people who try to, you know, bend the rules. Well, that's what they did again. They, they didn't really give you a hard limit. They just said, uh, we're getting rid of reviews that say these and only having Vine reviews. Okay, well, you can say something like, uh, found this on Reddit. Someone said, I found this review from a corpse and, uh, or I found this item on a corpse. Okay, well... Yeah, you know, there's no rule on Amazon saying you can't review items that you eluded off your enemies in battle, so, you know, it's fair game. Um, there's no real, uh, limit. I see some sellers have gotten wiped from Amazon because they have all their, uh, reviews from you know, people who do it for free. But, um, it, it doesn't matter because sellers are just, like, reviewers. You can just sign up, make a new account, send your inventory out, rebrand yourself, and all of a sudden you're good. Um, so right here I have all of the uh, Amazon new guidelines. It says, uh, we don't allow reviews uh, from brands that post their own reviews, uh, customers that review in exchange for cash, free or discounted product, a gift certificate, or a discount off a future purchase. Uh, that's kind of where they hit the biggest thing, uh, reviews in exchange for a free or discounted product. Um, but that's also only through the Amazon platform, so like I said, that it doesn't really affect direct shipping. Uh, a customer posts a review in exchange for entry for a contest, that's old. A uh, customer posts a review of a game in exchange for bonus in-game content, that's old. Uh, a relative close friend business posting a review to boost sales, that's, that's old. Uh, posting a review after being promised a refund, that actually might be new, but I think that's still old. A uh, seller posting negative reviews about a competitor, and an author posting a positive about a peer. Um, so, basically all they did was they, they added in that you can't have a discount on a product in exchange for a review. Um, so, if you get something through Amazon from a seller now, you're no longer incentivized to review it. So, you can still get it. A lot of the sites that I've been using and stuff, they still have all of their, uh, they still have stuff running. I'm still getting emails from people. Uh, now it just says you're not required to review it. Uh, because even if a person still sends you a product, and if they give you a, a, a discount code and you buy it through Amazon, their selling score still goes up. So even, even now that they've done this, people are still just trying to get rid of their inventory and boost their score while they can. And you know, give it a two or three weeks because these people know how to get around all the tactics that Amazon throws at them, obviously, then everything will be back to normal. In fact, everything I think might be a little worse than normal. Because if you have all the honest reviewers, like actually honest, not finger quote honest, who see these changes and say, okay, well, it's been over. Uh, then you're gonna have all the people who stick around for a little bit saying how can I make this work for me? They're gonna stick around. They're gonna see that. Oh, you know, I can get stuff uh, shipped to my house You know, it's nothing wrong with that. I've had stuff shipped to my house by people too. It's not like against the rules or anything um, But I think this kind of hurts Amazon in a way because people are gonna be less in like there's less incentive to try new products to you know, see if this new brand is actually any good, because if you have a, a well-established brand and a non-established brand, there's no reason to try the, the non-established brand, you know, if the difference is like three or four dollars, you're not going to waste your time and money. So if you have no more incentivized reviews, you're just going to have less reviews in general. Uh, less reviews means less people buying the product, means less sales. Uh, less sales means less new sellers to Amazon which means less money paid to Amazon for their fees. Uh, so Amazon makes less money. The less Amazon makes, the, the fewer deals they can offer, through, like their lightning deal program. Um, so basically, Amazon kind of just 
made themselves be able to give less deals. Now, I know Amazon's a big company and everything, so, you know, they don't really have to worry about that kind of thing. But I don't really understand what the point of this is. You know, you have the top 10,000 reviewers who are, you know, they all had to get there somewhere. They didn't just spend a bunch of money on products. So, so you're just kind of uh, telling them that they're not really worth anything unless they're in the Amazon Vine program. Um, nobody, like I said, nobody really understands what the Vine program is. Nobody really understands how to get into it. Amazon says that they're changing the Vine program. Okay, that's great. You know, you can change something that nobody knows how it works, and that doesn't mean anybody's actually going to know how it works. Um, so I think overall, th this is a change that works 70-30 against Amazon. They're just getting rid of, they're getting rid of reviewers who actually take the time to review products. The whole reason the reviewing thing existed in the first place is because most people who buy products they don't give five-star reviews because uh, if you buy a product and it works, there's no reason for you to go write up that it works. So the majority of reviews on Amazon pre-reviewers were, were negative because you would have everyone who, you know, they buy a product and, oh, this product didn't work for me, so I'm going to give it like one star. So, you know, products would have to have, you know, four stars to be considered good. Well, you know, now like every product has four stars, so I guess in a way there is inflation. But when you see every product that Amazon has like four or five stars, it's not really an issue of, oh, these reviewers aren't honest. It's more of an issue that nobody has any reason to actually review anything on Amazon. I've been told by other people I've reviewed for in the past, hey, can you review this on like Walmart or Lowe's.com and stuff? And I was like, yeah, you know, sure, whatever. It takes like five seconds to copy paste. But if you go to those two websites, products have, you know, one or two reviews if you're lucky. Because nobody's nobody takes time to review things because it's not worth anything. You know, you don't get anything out of it. Uh, Amazon, you know, for about a year now that I've been doing this, they had a way to you know incentivize, it, make it so there was a benefit to both parties to have a review done. But now there's no uh, there's no reason to. So Amazon's keeping up all their old reviews people did, but they also uh, they're getting rid of anyone from doing it again. Um, I think this just means it'll be a higher percentage of direct shipped products. You know, it's not, it's not really gonna change anything. It just makes Amazon say, "Hey, look, we did our part." You know, um, so as a as a reviewer, um, it it might make me uh, miss out on a few products for the next like two weeks. But I really don't think after that anything's really gonna change. Uh, I really hope that uh, this explained the whole change system to you. Uh, if you like it. You can subscribe to my channel. I'm going to leave more reviews. Uh, make sure to mash that like button. Um, go to reviewmeta.com and, you know, spam their site. You know, I, I don't like those guys. Those are the guys who posted all the stuff. Uh, very, very high chance that they're the ones who actually got this uh, change done. They're the ones who did the whole thing, found that, oh, you know, everyone's, like, super biased and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't really like Review Meta. Those guys suck. But uh, until next time... I'm Brewmaster Bruns. This has been a quick, uh, quick brew talk on the new Amazon policies.